Hello, Polly's the best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now, today's game is published by Electronic Arts, and it is James Bond 2, codename Robocard. Here it comes. So, Millennium 1991. Okay, so this is a Mega Drive version of James Bond 2, which I've never played before. Played the Amiga version and the Commodore 64 version, and also the Master System version, but never the Mega Drive, so. Yeah, this is very similar to the Amiga version. So uh, let's go into the room and let's progress on. So we got plenty of uh, parallax scrolling. Music's a little different than Amiga, but that's due to the different sound architecture in both machines. But yeah, it's, it's still basically the game. So basically, you play as this fish. You can jump, but you can also use this stretching ability to uh, get up to uh, points that like, you can like sort of like shimmy across like this. And uh, yeah, so you can do that at any time. So as you can see, you just hold down the A button and he stretches. Quite a unique idea for a fish. I always thought. I first played this on the Commodore Amiga 500 back in the day, uh, the non-AGA version. And uh, yeah, it's, it was an excellent game, and I think it all amazingly fit on one floppy disk as well, which was kind of unique. I later on played the uh, Commodore 64 version, and that was impressive to get that on in the Commodore 64. It was a very low res version, low resolution, but it was it was good. It, they managed to cram it onto the Commodore 64 in just 64k of RAM. Well, it's actually less than 64k, isn't it, when you consider the overheads? Um, but I played the tape version, it had a horrendous multi load if I remember right. But yeah, anyway, so this is a Mega Drive version. Yeah, it's looking really good, it's looking really polished. Very Christmassy feeling this game is, I always thought. Probably because of the snow background. In the world select screen. So basically, you got to collect these penguins, and then, then that will activate the exit point. And then you can go through the exit and uh, yeah, progress on. So there's loads of different levels, loads of different uh, scenes and stuff. It, it has a lot of variety to the look and feel of the level design. Let's collect the telephone right here. And the other telephone. So there's just ba basically bonus points for that. Watch out for the poisons when you collect them exclamation marks. You can get poison in some of them. But you, you, you sort of press down when you land to do that move so you can destroy the enemies. You do get cars and aeroplanes on the game as well which you can drive later on. Sort of find cars and stuff, little cars that you can drive like sideways. Quite cool, quite a quite appealing game. We might get the uh, stars right here. Okay, moving platforms. See, this is sort of like sports uh, theme level with the tennis rackets in the background. They're not trees, they're tennis rackets. So yeah, we continue on. The more advantageous thing about this version compared to the Amiga version and the Commodore 64 version is you can use B to jump rather than these are rather than up to jump, which is a lot easier. These are wings that you can use to sort of fly as well, like the penguins and stuff. So yeah, the game keeps going on and on. It's very varied. There's plenty, loads of levels to keep you occupied. And yeah, it's a really, really fun game. And for that reason, I'm going to give James Bond 2 codename Robocod 9 out of 10 on the Mega Drive. Thank you for watching. 